Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Lori. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the subscription boxes for beauty. These boxes are new to me, I haven't tried them before, well, with the exception of one, but it's been a year. So let's jump right into it. So the first box that I have is the Birch Box. Now because I am a new customer to Birch Box, I also got a free like welcome gift Birch Box. So I think you can get like one of these on your first first uh, order and otherwise you just get this box. So Birch Box is a subscription that's $15 a month. And it kind of comes in like this cute little box. You get like a little card that kind of gives you like information about the products that are inside. It comes wrapped in like a tissue paper. I've already opened this obviously. This is not a true unboxing. I wanted to see what was in it. So the first thing that I have in mind is the Pure Least Perfect Glow BB Cream with SPF 30. So this is 0.24 ounces, so it's not a lot. They're kind of more like trial size samples. Um, I have tried this once, it's okay. Next I have the Perfectionist Refining Facial Pink Clay AHA BHA from One Kind. That one I have not tried yet. Next we have the Perfect Smooth Blowout Lotion Color Protected that's paraben free from Nature Lab. Next we have a trial size of Benefit Their Real Mascara. And last we have a Liquid Shimmer Shadow. Um, this color is Moonlight LOC. I'm not sure if that stands for something. I'm not familiar with this brand. And this actually looks quite pretty. So we'll do a little swatchy swatch. Oh, this is nice. So this is basically a liquid shadow. I think it's still wet on me. So we'll let that dry down and we'll see if that actually stays on. So that was everything that was in my first box. So basically I'm just getting like these five products for 15 bucks. To me, these are more like sample size products that you would get. But let's take a look and see what is in the second welcome box. So again, this one comes with a little card with some information about the products on the back. It comes wrapped up in the tissue paper. I will say the boxes are super cute. I will definitely save the boxes and use them for something. Okay, so we have Oribe, I don't know if that's how you say it, a Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse. I actually don't use a lot of product in my hair. The most I'll use is like a leave-in conditioner or a hair oil, um, but I guess this is good if I have a need to use mousse. Next we have the IPKN Moist and Firm BB Broad Spectrum SPF 45. Next we have from Amika Flash Instant Shine Mask for your hair. Next we have the Georgette Clinger Honey Cleansing Gel. This is for combination dry and sensitive skin. Then we have the Ico Brown Liner in Medium. I typically don't use brow liners, but that's kind of what it looks like right there. Obviously it's that one. I just think a lot of people draw their eyebrows on too much and they look like clowns. There's nothing wrong with my natural brow, so I just let it be. Okay, so next this is Boost. Arrow, it is a color enhancing lip balm. Pink shade, we'll do a little swatch. I wonder if these are like some of like the Smashbox blush that they had. You can kind of see it right here. Mm -hmm. So that was everything that I got from Birchbox. So if I got two boxes with all these samples for 15, I'd probably say keep it. But if you're only getting you know, five products, and they're kind of like sample size that you would get, I don't know, from Sephora or Ulta. I don't know. 
I already canceled my subscription to Birchbox. Okay guys, so next I have the Lime Life Amaze Box. I will say I have tried this before, probably about a year ago. I did two of the Amaze Boxes last summer and I really was not that impressed with them. The one box that I had, if you're familiar with the Lime Life products, they have skincare and some makeup, and they sent me a little sample of one of their Sotox serums, and it smelled rancid. It smelled so bad, and when I contacted them, they didn't want to send me a replacement, and they just basically said, you know, too bad, so sad. And after that, I was kind of like, not that interested in it anymore. I think that they were putting in their Amaze box some like old stock that they had and that Sotox that they sent me friggin' stink. So I gave them another shot. It's a year later. We'll see if they improved a little bit. So the Amaze box retails for $38 and you're guaranteed one full size product. So for this Amaze box, as you can see, it kind of like opens up. I think the box is like super cute. I like the packaging. You get a sticker that nobody's going to use. You get a little booklet about what's coming in your box. And for this month, for June, I got a face mask, which I haven't opened yet. It has little lip kiss print on it. And I got a bottle of the One Drop Wonder. It'll focus. If you haven't tried the One Drop Wonder, it's not a terrible product. Um, I think it's good if you have like a cut or an abrasion, you can put this on that cut or abrasion. I think it helps helps it heal a little bit better. It might reduce scarring a little bit. I'm not sure. I can't make any claims for these products. But I have actually purchased this from Lime Life before and it's actually not too bad. So this is actually priced higher than the cost of the actual Amaze box. And the next item that I have is one of their Enduring Lip Colors, and this is in the shade Wedding Cake, and I'll sample this for you. I actually already have this color, and it's pretty nice. Out of all of their Enduring Lip Colors, this is the only one that has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I think it's pretty. I think it would go on, on most skin tones. But there it is, you can see it right there. But these are actually pretty nice. I would recommend these. They do have lighter shades, darker shades. I prefer more of the more neutral lighter shades. Some of them are just way too dark for me. But overall, um, this box was a pretty good value for $38. These retail, I think, for $20. I forget, I'll put it over here somewhere what this retails for. And of course you get a mask because we're forced to wear them everywhere we go. So that was actually a pretty good Amaze box. So I'm gonna stick with that one and see what comes in the box for July. The last beauty box that I have is the Allure Beauty Box. And this box is pretty too. I like how it kind of reflects. I like that. So let's see what's inside. Now the Allure, Allure the, now the Allure Beauty Box also retails for $15, which is the same price as the Birch Box. And you're gonna see why I like this one so much better in a second. So this comes with a little booklet of you know the, the products that are inside. The first item that I have is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera. Next we have a Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil. So let's take this out, we'll swatchy this. Oh, this looks a lot brighter in the tube, but it's actually quite pale. Lip oils tend to be a, a trendy thing right now. But here it is right there. Next, um, this is a product I definitely won't use. This is the Daffing, uh, the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette. Basically, they're fake nails. Um... I don't do anything with my nails. I will paint my toenails. I typically don't do my fingernails. Um, I do serve in the reserve, so this kind of stuff doesn't really work for me. Next, we have the Shang Pre Spa Care System Gold Black Pearl Eye Mask. And if I can get 
last out of the box. This is the Star Skin Nourishing and Brightening Two Step Oil Sheet Mask. Now the great thing about the Allure Beauty Box is your guaranteed one full size item and my full size item is this Pure Lease Watermelon and Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. It's very reflective. So I haven't tried this yet. And it's sealed, so that's good. We know it's new and fresh. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like watermelon, which I guess is what you would expect since it's watermelon and charcoal. But that's what it looks like there. So for $15, I think the Allure Beauty Box wins hands down, at least against the Birch Box. So because of the timing of when I ordered my Allure Beauty Box, that was my June box. I already have my July box. So if you didn't get your July box, I'm going to spoil it for you right now. So just to give you a better idea of what you're getting for your 15 bucks, you know, you got another little card here and it comes wrapped in your little tissue paper. So in this box, we have the a Cure Welcome to Skin Wellness Resurfacing Glycolic and Unicorn Root Cleanser. I do not know what unicorn root is, but okay, whatever. We'll try anything once. We have Smooth Sailing from Curology. I guess this is a moisturizer. I see these advertised a lot on YouTube, but I've never tried them, so we'll give that a try. This is the Skin Ink Supplement Bar, my daily dose of glow, illuminate and brighten. I'm guessing this is an oil. Let's look and see. Ooh, you know what this reminds me of? Does anybody remember, I wanna say from the 90s, there was a drink and it was called Orbit and it was like, a drink and it had these like little bubble things in it. Do you remember that? This is what this reminds me of, but of course the bubbles are much smaller. So that's interesting. Uh, let's see. We have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. As I told you before, I really don't do anything with my brows. Uh, so I probably won't use this, but you never know. I'll try it once. Then we have a little perfume sample called Arizona. And we have an AHC Essential Real Eye Cream for Face. So that's a little confusing. Is this actually like a, an eye cream? Is it a face cream? Is it a both cream? Maybe you can use it on both, I don't know. But, okay, so here's what it looks like. What does it say on the back? Concentrated eye cream that can be used on the whole face for a youthful appearance and resilient skin. Okay, well, yeah, I want that. Okay, so very cool. And we have one more goodie in here. This is the Wen Glamour Base Biocellulose Sheet Mask. So what do you guys think of these subscription boxes? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Which one do you like the best? Um, overall, Birchbox, as I kind of mentioned earlier, I'm not gonna be repurchasing this one. This one I already canceled. Um, the Lime Life box which is over here i don't know why they sent me a sticker like i'm not gonna do anything with a sticker almost 40 years old so the box is pretty i actually think this one's pretty good the price point's a little bit higher for 38 dollars but it's kind of fun um and you get full-size products in this one as well and then we also have the allure beauty box which i think is probably the best value out of everything because you're getting a whole bunch of different products to try you're getting skincare you're getting makeup you're getting masks so there's a lot of different things happening here. Um, and this one's only $15 and you're guaranteed a full-size product. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you next time. Bye.